what's up guys today i thought I was thinking of videos to create and all of a sudden i was like oh my gosh one of the most frequent questions that i get asked when i'm doing clients makeup when it comes to the eyelashes almost all of them say i have no clue how to apply false lashes on myself and over the years i've accumulated a few tips and tricks to kind of help myself apply them on myself it's so much easier for me to apply them on clients but I have figured out a few tricks on how to apply them on myself and so I figured I would just make a video explaining how to apply false lashes and the way that I do it and hopefully it's helpful and hopefully it helps you guys figure out how to apply them on yourself because it is tricky and it is kind of a skill that you have to practice in order to get it down but hopefully the few tips and tricks that I have will make it a little easier for you guys to apply false lashes on yourself. So the things that you will need, you will need some tweezers. You can totally use your fingers, but if you have nails like I do, it can make it a little trickier to apply. So I like to use tweezers. And when you use tweezers, it also makes it a little bit easier so that when you're like right up against your eye, you don't have your whole hand kind of obstructing your view. This is just allows it to be a little bit further away, which I have found is quite a bit easier. You will also need some little scissors. You always want to measure the eyelashes before you glue them on. Um, everybody's eye shapes are different and some lashes can be too long. So you want to make sure you always trim them down so they're not too long. You want to make sure that they fit your eyes. So little scissors like this come in handy so you can trim them and I'll show you how I do that. The other thing you'll need is eyelash glue. Um, if you want to get some drugstore eyelash glue, Duo makes great eyelash glue. I have noticed that I think my eyes might be a little sensitive to latex and it's a super common allergy. Um, so if you are allergic to latex or if you have a sensitivity, um, this is by House of Lashes. It's their uh, lash adhesive. The one I have dries down black. They also make a clear one. It's white and when you put that on it's going to dry clear so you won't see it. Um, if I have like a black liner on like I do today, the black glue is totally fine because it just blends in with the liner and you don't see it. Um, and this one is latex free and I have noticed a huge difference since I switched. My eyes don't nearly get as sensitive. I think my eyes do just get sensitive all around when I wear makeup, like heavy eye makeup. But I've noticed after switching to the House of Lashes glue with it being latex free, my eyes don't freak out as much. And so that's been amazing. So I highly recommend this glue. And the last thing we'll need, well, no, we have two more things. You'll want mascara. You want to apply a little coat of mascara to your top lashes before you put on the eyelashes and some people will apply um, another coat after they put on the false lashes. That's personal preference. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. We'll just see how I feel today. And the last thing you'll need are your lashes. I picked these up from Target. They're the Ardell Faux Mink Wispies. They are super beautiful, super light. The faux mink, they're so soft and like just, they really replicate real lashes and I think they're absolutely gorgeous. So those are the ones that I picked for the purpose of this video, just to kind of show you guys. I would have used ones that I already have, but then I wouldn't have been able to show you how I cut them and I was like, you know, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this the right way. So I made sure to get a new box. So, getting started, you're gonna just take the eyelashes out of the container. Now, the eyelashes will come on this little plastic thing, and they do have a little bit of a adhesive on there already, just to kind of keep it on. But remember that that adhesive is not the adhesive. Like, that won't... I think some people may think that if they just take these right off of the plastic and put them on their eyes, it's gonna stick because they do have a little bit of adhesive on them. They won't stick. So you wanna make sure you always use glue. I like to just pull off any excess adhesive so that the band is completely clean and there's nothing, no, um, none of the little sticky adhesive on it. So now that I have this, I'm gonna be working on my left eye first because that was the first one I pulled off. So what I'm going to do is 
take a mirror. This is just a little compact. I'm gonna take a mirror. And throughout this entire thing, the biggest tip that I can give you is when you're looking in the mirror and when you're trying to put these on, don't hold the mirror like this. It's gonna be so much harder to apply like this. A trick is to hold the mirror super low so that you're basically looking down. It's gonna keep your eyelashes out of the way. It's gonna make it so you have more area right here just to kind of work with. Whereas when your eyes are like this, you're like, you have your eyebrow in the way and all that stuff so keep your compact down and you're not gonna don't move your head all the way down but you're really just kind of looking down into the mirror and that's really really gonna help it's probably my favorite tip that I have <laughs> so I'm just gonna be checking the size right now I'm just gonna kind of use my tweezers hold the lash in place and with that little bit of adhesive it is actually gonna make it easier to kind of see I'm gonna pull it into the corner. These really don't need much, but I am gonna pull a little, little tiny, like maybe two hairs off of the corner. When you're cutting your lashes, you always wanna trim from the outer corners. You don't wanna trim from the inner corners. Typically lashes, how they're created, they are created to mimic our real lashes. And typically our lashes are smaller on the inner corners and then they get longer as they go out. So you don't want to cut the inner corner of the false lash because that's the lashes are going to be smaller and that's exactly how they're meant to be. So you don't want to trim from the inner, you want to trim from the outer. So I'm just going to trim the slightest, I don't even think you'll be able to see this, but I'm trimming just the slightest bit off of the corners of these. I really don't need to do much. Now that I'm trimmed, I'm going to go ahead and apply the glue. You just want to put a thin layer of the glue right on the band itself. And this glue in particular actually dries pretty quickly so I would recommend working fast so that it doesn't reach that point where you're gonna have to apply more glue. So glue is on. I'm gonna grab my tweezers. Grab my compact. I'm gonna dry it a little bit. You want your glue to be tacky, so if you use the duo glue, you are gonna need to make sure it's tacky, but like I said, this House of Lashes glue does dry really quickly and actually doesn't need to be shaken like this too much. So, I'm looking down in the compact, grab the lash. I'm gonna place, I'm gonna kinda eyeball it and place the center down first. I've noticed that's easiest for me. Then I'm gonna go towards the inner corner and I'm gonna press down that outer corner. Kinda wiggle it in place there. And if this takes you a few tries, that is absolutely, totally normal. And there you have it. You wanna put the lash as close to the base of your natural lashes as possible. You don't wanna put it too high up on your eyelid or you're gonna have a gap between your false lashes and your natural lashes and that's not a good look. Especially if you aren't wearing any liner and you're just doing lashes, it's even more crucial in that situation to have them as close to your lash line as possible because you don't have a black liner or anything to kinda hide if you don't have them directly on top of the lashes. So having a liner definitely does help makes it a little bit easier, but if you wanna do just lashes with no liner, just make sure you get the false lashes as close to your lash line as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. When you're peeling the lashes off of the plastic, just be really careful. Um, take your thumb and kind of hold the lashes and pull down. It'll help separate them from the plastic. If you pull just from a corner and go kind of quickly, you could risk breaking the lash. Again, peeling off any excess adhesive. Um, if you need to go ahead and measure your other eye, you can. If you remembered how much you trimmed off, go ahead and do that same thing. I know I cut off about three hairs total, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that same thing. Again, cutting from the outside of the lash, not the inside. Next step, apply the lash glue to the band. You don't need too much, but you want enough to make sure that the lash sticks and stays. I would say, if anything, focus more of the glue on the inner corner, because that can be a place that lifts pretty easily, and the outer corner. Grab your tweezers. I like to hold them in the middle. 
take your compact, I should probably turn them this way now so you guys can hopefully see it. And then hold the compact down and kind of eyeball where you think the middle is. Set the middle, hold the reserve for a few seconds. Then I'd say go towards the inner corner, put that one down, and lastly to the outer corner. So that is how I apply my lashes. The last step is gonna be just applying a little bit of mascara. This is just gonna kinda help blend the lashes and your natural lashes. And then since I waited to apply my lashes, I'm gonna just put a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes as well. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful and you got some few tips and tricks on how to apply false lashes. If you do use these tricks and you are successful, let me know. I would love to know if this worked for you. It's taken quite a long time for me to be able to master it and it will take practice so don't get discouraged if it doesn't work the first time. It's a technique, you have to figure out how to use your hands and all the different placements so it does take time so don't get discouraged but keep trying, practice makes perfect, don't give up and thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these how-to videos please let me know, I think they're super Fun. they're quick and easy and hopefully helpful so let me know down below if you liked it and make sure to like comment and subscribe and click the little bell so you get notified anytime I post a video I do post a video a week on Mondays so don't miss out on those and as always thank you guys so much for your support it means absolutely everything to me and I will see you in the next one bye